Please stand by for our feature documentary. Every day he stares into the face of ugliness and despair, and every day he transforms another life. Plastic surgeons work with some of the most tragic cases, bringing light and hope to families. Um, this morning, I noticed that my eyebrows are a little far apart. Could I have them brought together? Hmm, eyebrow surgery. My dear, you might want to think about this very, very carefully because eyebrow surgery is in the highly, highly experimental phase and it's extremely tricky. However, with an expert like Dr. Rivera, the outcome is usually quite good. You do need to know, however, that in order for us to do the small adjustment to your eyebrows, we must remove your whole face. And this, unfortunately, can lead to some mm, unexpected, how you say in English, outcomes. I'll be paying in cash. Ah. In that case, my dear, it's no problem. Sign here. We can have you done in mm, 20 minutes. Most doctors treat their patients for illnesses. Often they reoccur, but Dr. Nick transforms his patients for good, one face at a time. The riches he's accumulated mean nothing to him. His satisfaction comes from helping the poor. Each year, Dr. Nick takes time out of his practice to spend two weeks in Bolivia, transforming the lives of children. Many Bolivian children suffer from malnutrition, which makes them especially prone to a condition causing ugliness. Children who survive turn into ugly adults. This little girl suffers badly. Sometimes the corners of her mouth turn upwards into a ghastly smile. Neighbors say that her parents died of malnutrition, but we think it might have been despair. Dr. Nick, why do you do it? What I like most is giving back to the community, Andrew. But you give back every day. This is true, but the children of Bolivia have a special place in my heart, you know. How did you get involved with the children of Bolivia? I heard it was something about your jet. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should ask this, Andrew, you know, we were flying uh, through South America and we had a small, how you say, problem with the aircraft. We had to make emergency landing into Bolivia, which was a little bit scary. So we land in Bolivia and we take a break, we get off the plane, we open the doors, my lovely nurse, she opened the door and I step out and I see, oh my God, I see this children under and they need so much work. The lines and the wrinkles and the ugliness, it just, it shocked me to my core. We spoke to philanthropist Lindsay Carver, who helps fund the program. Without this program, these children are doomed to suffer through their poverty in unimaginable ugliness. But thanks to Dr. Nick, they can suffer through their poverty with beautiful faces. But your organization has been criticized for not providing food or clean drinking water to these, to these children. We it tried to give food, but those impertinent elders wouldn't touch our caviar. Unspeakable manners. Listen, we believe it's the happiness of one's life and not the length that matters. Some say that Dr. Cameron Ronaldo is a world-renowned heart surgeon and a big fan of Dr. Nick's. Well, as a heart surgeon, I wish my work were as life-changing as Dr. Nick's. But what could be more important than saving people's lives? Well, sometimes saving a life just prolongs the suffering and the ugliness. I can fix a failed heart, but the ugliness still remains. Dr. Nick goes right to the root causes. Of course, not everybody likes good news and good works. That's why we spoke to this grump, Starlight Strawberry Bush. She feels that the doctor's work has a dark side. Not only are his actions reprehensible, they're culturally inappropriate. So you're in favor of his work? 
He's exporting the most impoverished North American values to the poorest and most oppressed people. Most of his patients die within days of the procedure. But Dr. Nick claims those people would die anyways, at least they're dying happy. We feel they should die ugly. The Ugly People's Coalition is outraged, and we're filing a class action lawsuit on behalf of ugly people everywhere. You care for a doctor? Please. Other forceps. Yes, doctor. The pliers, please. Yes, <laughs> Oh, very good, yes. Yes. How really, touching. Oh, there really is a little good left in the world. <laughs>